I'm Rebecca Brand. This is one of my very favorite gifts to give away to my friends. They love it. It's homemade and it's really inexpensive. The ingredients for this dish are chocolate cake. I made this yesterday. It's been air drying. Some rum, some melted butter, chocolate chips, and then toppings. I've got a whole bunch of toppings. Some of my favorites are sea salt and then cayenne pepper. And then I've got some broken up candy canes, some white chocolates, some red sugars and white sugars. So take your cake and just scrape it into a bowl. And now you want to break it up and crumble it. It's going to be soaking up that rum, so dry is fine. And you know what? Go ahead and get one at your grocery store if you like. I'm going to add two shots of rum in there. Now kids, you can use apple juice because this is strong stuff. And then add two tablespoons of melted butter. Now combine all that together. Depending on how old your cake is, it may not be wet enough for this, especially if you go get it at a grocery store, you don't know what the consistency is. So in that case, you might need to add another shot of rum. I encourage that. So in my recipe, that's gonna be three with this cake. You gotta have the hand test. Oh yes, look at that. That is holding together really well. So while that's soaking in, I'm going to start melting my chocolate. I'm using semi-sweet chocolate chips, but you can use candy bars that you chunk up. Dark chocolate, milk chocolate, whatever chocolate's your favorite. Mine too. Here we go. Two cups. Now we need to put it over a double boiler. I have a small pot and I have a glass bowl and I have water that's just about one inch in there and I'm bringing that up to a boil. I want the steam to get my bowl hot. I do not want my bowl touching the water, so it's right above the water line. I'm gonna put that in. It's on high to bring it to a warm heat. I put the chocolate chips in and turn it to medium. You don't wanna scorch it. So that's just gonna sit and rest. Don't play with it. Let it just sit there and be happy. And we're gonna to go to our next step now. I'm going to make a little platter that I can put my little rum balls on. Now for my little present, they're gonna go in these little gizmos, and these are small. So this is kind of be my target zone of the size I want. So I'm using a little teaspoon, I'm eyeballing it, and then let's roll them up. Okay, on to there we goes. So you get the idea. I'm gonna put these in the freezer for 15 minutes, and then we're gonna to top them. The great thing about this rum ball recipe is you can save it to do later too. So that's what I'm going to do with this ball. It's going to go in the fridge for up to a week or two. <laughs> it's been 15 minutes. They're ready. Let's check on our chocolate. I see it's glistening on top. That means it's getting to the melt factor. So I definitely want to turn this down. I don't want to scorch it. If you scorch it, it's going to be grainy. So just pick up the bottom layer and stir it. I'm gonna turn that way down on low. And that just turned out great. You see that beautiful gloss. Yay, it's ready. The little nudie guys are on one side and the finished guys will be on the other. So with your long prong forks, you're gonna drop them in the chocolate. I'm gonna do two at a time. And then you roll them around so they're covered. Make sure you let it all drip. You don't want your chocolate with big feet walking away. There he goes. Okay, the last one. You know what, good thing, because since those rum bottles are really cold, they have definitely brought the temperature of my chocolate down, and it was getting a little tough, so I'm glad that part is finished. These will only take a little tiny bit to firm up, and they're sitting on that cold plate too, and that helps. Now to top them. I have some candy canes I crushed up. I just put two candy canes in a bag and you just crush it up really good until they're fine. So while they're still a little wet, you wanna add your topping. That looks good. This guy is gonna have a little piece of white chocolate on him because I think that's just kinda cute. Cayenne pepper, red sugar. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Ho, ho, ho. This is the one I'm gonna try. <gasps> Mmm, rich and delicious. Mmm. So anyway, you want to make your rum balls, pick your favorite and make them for your friends. Subscribe to my channel. 
And let's keep cooking, it's so much fun. <laughs>